Freddie. A's leading 7-6. Look out, Mark McGuire. Hit for the second time in the game. Has a few words for Angels pitcher Russ Springer. And then in the bottom of the seventh, Salmon is hit by the Jim Corsi pitch. And you know what's coming. Bodies are flying. The bench is empty. A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving, a lot of dancing. We saw Davis trying to get in there. Neat says plunks Tino Martinez and yes we have a melee we have a Donnybrook cats and dogs living together and hey look it's Boutros Boutros Johnson the peacemaker this week Red Sox lead 7-6 top of the seventh Tony Phillips takes the called strike and he tells on Reed, come on man that was no strike Mike McFarland jumps into the argument Phillips and McFarland go nose to nose and that sets off the benches here they come, a nice low angle of the infant stages of what would become a full-blown skirmish. Look carefully. Somewhere in there is former Red Sox great Jim Rice. He's now the hitting coach for Boston. I need a close-up of Jimmy. Jimmy would like to hit Phillips, but he doesn't. Phillips and McFarland are both ejected. Dia has 33 RBIs. Top six, Jason Bates stealing. Takes out Sean Dunstan. Dunstan pops up and pops off Bates' helmet. He wants a piece of him. Benches would clear. No punches were thrown in this one. Don Baylor, the Colorado manager, gets into the fray and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean Dunstan. Brian McCray has to restrain Dunstan. Dunstan ejected. The Cubs dejected. They lose. This batter is Ron Karkovice. Wegman comes a little inside. Then two pitches later, way inside. Hits Karkovice in the midsection. Umpire Rocky Rose says, Wegman, you're gone. Karkovice is not a happy man. The benches would empty, but no punches thrown. Brewer manager, Phil Garner. Rah, 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 rah. All right, you're out of here, too. Everything is normal until the ninth. Rob Dibble, look out at the head of Pat Listash, and let's get ready to rumble. And there they go. The bench is empty. Punches are thrown this time. Dibble and Listash ejected. All I want to know is who had the guts to match up with the big hurt Frank Thomas in this one. Sean has a couple of words and then wants to deliver those words. Nails Valdez with a quick right hand to Valdez's eye. A huge pile on follows up. And then Valdez has a nice shiner to show for his actions. Six to two Red Sox. Two batters later, Scott Kamenicki right in the toque. On Luis Alisea, Vic Voltaggio immediately tosses Scotty. And here come the benches, and we have got a pseudo melee Donnybrook plume flaunting. That means that people just kind of pumped their chest, but nothing really happened. And then Kamenicki gives the Gettysburg address. Sergio Valdez, look out over the head of F.P. Santangelo, who had homered earlier. Then in the sixth, Valdez inside for the fastball, and Tony Tarasca doesn't like it and wants a piece of him. Kurt Manwaring with the hammer lock from behind. Tarasco was ejected. That is a developing deal here because Hernandez throws behind Brian Hunter. Hernandez is warned by Wendelstadt. Both benches are going to clear. Frakis, number one. Borders and Gant single each other out, but the fight subsides. Top of the seventh. Gant at the plate. He and Borders have words. Gant goes after him. Both benches clear again. Frakis, number two. Gant and Borders both thrown out after that one. So if you're scoring at home, we have two fracases so far. NL President Leonard Coleman watching all this. Bottom of the seventh, it gets worse. Hernandez, a former Astro, hits Jeff Bagwell. He's had all those problems with the left hand. He got hit there again. Bench is clear. Fracas number three. Crazy. Hernandez is tossed.